What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020. What this is, because, you know, there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an FBA course or you'll have a how to run ads course. But there is no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions. I'm in a ClickFunnels group and I just look at all the questions that people are asking and just they just don't have the comprehensive online education. So what I'm putting together and this is from learning from this, this is B school for hustlers. Um, funny thing is I, I created this about three years ago. And I created a Stripe account for it, and the Stripe account was still open. So apparently, they don't have a problem with B-School for Hustlers. So in, in any case, we could get around that. But let me take you through the whole process. Now, this will include an updated version of the Art of Holding, and I'm going to get into that. So you got two ways to get in here, 1600, one and done and 18 times 125 per month. So you got two ways to get in here. And this pricing is just going to be available while I'm beginning. Because once I build out a course and the course is done, then I'm going to raise the price of this. Because this is the, there's not much there pricing with more to come. So one of the things that, you know, we're going to do and let's see. Um, really don't want to be there. Let's do this. Let's go to B School for Hustlers. You like that? You like that? You're the lion. The zebra is the money. Go get that money. That's the world we live in. All right. Here it is. So what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses once again the courses are not done as these courses come online like how to market and sell on youtube that will be a course and you know it's not 100 percent ready and how to make more money from Broke Dick Danny to pay Percy. That's going to be a course. The Strategic Holding Company, how to set up and deploy. There's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward. The Google Ads course, how to run successful and profitable ads. How to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. The Hustler's Mindset course, how to change your thinking for abundance. I'm going to go deep there. How to make money with content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The Money Management course, how to prep your financial love for happiness and joy. And the Money Game, how to play and win. So what you're going to be doing is getting... because. I don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses and, you know, need to get rid of that because, um, because I'm already got, I'm adding stuff here and I need to. go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into 
this, but I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up. a rugged, durable online business. Because one of the things is like with these other courses and they're good courses, they're not bad. But the thing is, you're not getting the full deal. You're not getting a comprehensive. Uh huh. So we're going to do this for, because I'm going to add more to this. $2.99. Just get rid of that free. But essentially, this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses. Because the Google Ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube. Do a course on that. How to make money with content. I'm going to lay out some stuff that you know many people don't understand. And this is just going to be fun. I could build this out in maybe three months. I could build it out in six months. I'm giving myself six months to build this out so you will have these courses they will be done they'll be available you will be able to use this information to make money pretty much if you're on a payment plan before you pay for this i want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school you know and I'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it. And I will say this, that if I add any more stuff to it before 2020, that also will be included in the pricing that I put out. Because there's some stuff I'm mulling over. Because, you know, I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Um, this is the things that I do. These are the things I know how to do. These are the things I make money with. And if I add anything else, that will be part of this deal. And once again, the pricing is there's not much there. The money management, how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy, that's going to be done very quickly. And that's going to be your first course. And what's going to be different about this than um, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is you're going to do the money management course first. You're going to do the Hustler's Mindset course second. Then you're going to do How to Make More Money from Broke Dick Danny to Pay Percy third. And then we're going to get into the Strategic Holding Company. There will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense. Because let's take the Money Management course. What's the use in you making money if you're just going to blow it big willy style? If you're just going to not properly do what you need to do? You, you, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um, like the video I put on Disruptive Mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long term asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that and you, you get all of this. And I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer. Right. This pricing is. You know, because I'm pretty much going to do the Hustler's Mindset course after the Money Management course. Then we're going to get How to Make More Money from Broke Dick Danny to Pay Percy. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly. I might get those done before the end of the year. And then uh, the Strategic Holding Company, 
I've got probably 75% of the content already, so that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn, and process, and begin doing very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um, you're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate. And most people are honorable. So I'm going to trust you guys to be honorable. And also something else that's going to happen. Now, this isn't the T-shirt. That isn't the t-shirt. <clears throat> I'm going to craft a designer and we're going to come up with a digital citizen t-shirt. And that's also included in the course. It may be a long sleeve. I may do a long sleeve. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But I feel that this is a well-rounded curriculum for you to make money online. Because I know a lot of you don't want to do YouTube, but I'm telling you. The power of YouTube is sick. I mean, you know, let's just keep it honest. Like, uh, my main channel, it ain't really doing the YouTube thing, but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month, and my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, because uh, this is the reason I'm starting new channels, because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more. Because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like Disruptive Mail. Disruptive Mail makes consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to Disruptive Mail and I'm starting to see results. So, and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're going to discuss how to create the right type of content because you got to have the right stuff so <clears throat> this is the new deal and this is a combination because i woke up this morning really early and i started working on this and all this happened today i built this out today i strategized it i've been really really thinking about it in my mind i've been thinking about it and now that, you know, it's fully out of my head, I felt very productive. I felt very energized. I felt really, really good that this thing is done. So this is what's going to drop. This is what's going to happen. And the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course. There's already content there. There's training already there. And I'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course. And we will get this. So this is what it is. And if you want to start an online business, you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them. So they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it, it will be before the end 2020. I will include that in this offer, the t-shirt. We will be having webinars. There, there's a lot of stuff because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it. So we're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions. It will not be live streams on YouTube. And we will be able to chop this up. So I, like I said, I feel very, very productive. I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because, you know, the Google Ads course, I mean, if you're going to create any kind of website, you got to learn how to run ads. Yes, you can get organic traffic, but it is super slow. And, you know, getting organic traffic can take years. And hands down, because you, you, will, you will actually start, you know, seeing me run ads and stuff. Because I've got... A budget I'm gonna start running ads and I'm gonna do a course after I get to running this 
So, and you know, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. That's going to be a winning class. So there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business. And for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't going to be cheap. Um, like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed the session this morning about becoming a producer out of the, the game of money. Today, we're going to talk about sales why you need to develop a sales, why you develop sales skills regardless of your business model. Sales skills do not only enter into the product matrix. Sales skills enter into the beginning part of your business. You need to sell sometimes your wife, your husband, other family members on the viability of the business. Skills, sales skills come in very, very early. You may have to sell the bank on your loan. You may have to sell the vendor who's going to give you terms on accepting you. Sales skills are a fundamental part of life, and they should be taught in school. Sales have a bad rap because of used car salesmen. That's typically when you think of a salesperson. You don't think of a highly educated engineer that's part of the sales team. This is where our G, this is how these big companies sell. They have sales team. They'll have someone that'll open up the door, set the appointment, and then they'll have an engineer and a salesperson go in, a salesperson to do the selling, the engineer to explain the technical aspects of what's being sold. This is how they did that. This is how they put that stuff together. But sales skills. You ever noticed the guys, there was always this guy. He's in every high school. He don't look like much of nothing, but he always had the ability to sell himself to the nicer looking girls. Pretty Ricky. Um, Tracy Smith was always this guy who had the charisma, the personality, and the salesmanship to sell himself. Because that's the first product that you must sell is you. You must sell your stuff yourself to anyone who's interested in purchasing what you have to sell. You gotta sell yourself. You gotta get you through the door. You gotta get them to like you. This is why so much business is done on the golf course because after 18 rounds or nine rounds, or whatever they play, you have a affinity for the person. You like the person. Likeability is a marketable trait. Being liked, having people appreciate you, having people want to be part of your circle. When I first started on YouTube, 2009, I had people do so many things for me, did so many nice things because I was such a likable guy. 
buy me domain names. You know, people just want to be on the G team. And that currency of likability helped me make so much money. So let's talk about the sales process. What is the first step in the sales process? Selling a product that you appreciate. Many people cheat this step. They get around it. They don't do it. They don't like to do it. Because they're like, what makes the most money? This is how people start searching. This is go on the Google machine. What sales field makes the most money? Doesn't matter if I like it. Doesn't matter if it jives with my inner chi. Nah, 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 nah. About that money. You know, the money's good enough. I'll make myself like it. This is what people tell me. Buy me, like me. What's up? Injection, Jordan reading your credits. Look, pimp stuff. I have time now. Thanks for your efforts. I knew that a guy could sell sandwiches at school years ago. Ooh, the guy on the internet. What's up? Yeah, buy me, like me. That's why you got to uh, put. Yeah, that's why the mic was off. It wasn't close. Um, that's why you got to put yourself out there. You have so many people who just took a chance. Uh, one guy, he started his business. He was selling high ticket stuff. And now his first sale was a $10,000 sale to a small company. They paid him by credit card. He got paid by PayPal. Dude was over the moon excited. And I was like, don't stop selling. You got this client. Cool. But carve out two hours every day to keep doing what you did to get this client. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because, you know, after we get past the first part of sales, which is getting a service or product that you really can get behind, uh, many people don't have the personality that it takes to BS people with a product that they don't care about. Uh, many people need that affinity to the product that it's like, I like this product. I can see this in my house. You need that behind you to help you be, you know, unless you're a sales beast, sales beast doesn't matter. Product doesn't matter. The price point. They're in the sales game for the challenge of converting people into customers. They get their rhythm from a whole nother uh, situation. They get their juice from helping people. They get their ability to get their inner satisfaction from being able to sell anybody. Sales beast, Gary V is a sales beast. You ever see how excited he got when he went garage sailing? And, you know, one of the things that is very hard for the average person to get their head around is the ebb and flow of sales. Uh, this is why I love Asian philosophy so much. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Kind of hang out there in the middle because there is nothing more exciting than getting some piece of a widget out of a storage unit, throwing it on eBay, and someone pays you $2,800 for it. you like, whoa, that's exciting. And then the person instantly pays via PayPal. They ain't no feeling like that. It's like, man, I only paid 10 bucks for the whole unit. Woo! You get very high. Your voice changes. You get cocky. 
Then the next thing that sells on eBay is something you pay $50 for for 150. It's a little deflating. You can't get too high, you can't get too low. You got to hang out in the middle and this is a mental mindset game. This is why the best salespeople have control of their mental. Like someone can I knew I had entered into the sales arena when a guy hung up on me and I called him back immediately and said, pardon me, we were disconnected, but I have this for you. And he started laughing. He's like, I hung up on you. I was like, nah, you didn't. We were having technical difficulties and now we're communicating. And I got the appointment and I sold the deal. See, that type of mental toughness is something that anyone can develop, anyone can earn. It is something that people can put together. It is something that can become a part of your grooming if you desire for that to be. Because you know, door knockers. Uh, some of these people make really good money. Knocking on doors would drive me crazy. I have done it before. I've been chased out of biz office buildings before for cavassing <clears throat> or soliciting, as it was called. And had security walk me to the door and said, like, you, you can't do that here. I was like, okay, my bad. And then I actually waited and watched their security shifts. So the guard who caught me, I went back on the day that he was off and got escorted out by another guard. BT, the creator. Thank you, Uncle G. Can't say enough. Quit my job. Made $1,500, $2,000 extra a month. Well, congratulations. What's up, Silver Blade? Izzy Torres, hello, Glendon. I very underestimated the numbers game. If you talk to enough people, you will get results in a possible sale. I speak more experience than I got the info from you. The law of averages is real. This is something that many salespeople can't get their head around because we are humans. We like to be liked. We like things to go easy. We like things to not have hiccups. And his sales and dealing with other human beings, there's a lot of hiccups. There's a great deal of um, mishaps. And it's very hard because this is why you got to have that mental. Because if you knock on enough doors, you eventually get enough sales. It's a numbers game. And many people, as Izzy has uh, confessed it, underestimate how many people you need to talk to. You know, when I say like hiring people, typically when I'm hiring people for a certain position, I need to look at about 20 people. I need to talk to 20 people to make a good hiring decision, which can be challenging because you have people, you talk to them, you're like, hey, human, how you doing, human? Good. Well, see you at 1030 on Tuesday. 1030 on Tuesday, ghost. Call them up. They don't answer. This behavior, which is millennial based, is some of the most disrespectful, self-serving, short-sighted behavior. Because, see, you don't know where this person's going to end up. So you go ahead and blow off the appointment and there's a job you really want. And this person's on the interviewing team and they remember you. Oh, this is the person who doesn't show up for appointments. Hmm. You never know who's going to be in that position. This is why it is always good to be nice to strangers, to be nice to waiters, to be nice to waitresses, to put on, you know, just treat them like family, treat them well, because you never know where they're going to end up. Sometimes you can lose a deal and you don't even know it because of some garbage, some lame stuff that you did, like not showing up for an appointment when you were supposed to.
this is why everyone needs sales skills because sales skills they can help you romantically yes learning how to sell can help you romantically because you are the product you are selling you you're putting the best face forward i mean some guys if they just had a a, a, re, a makeover made over their wardrobe their 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 success with women was skyrocket but once again let's talk about the transformation that you need oh yes miss mentor shelly mindsets everything I am not the person that I was in 1989. I'm not the same person. There was no way that I could remain the same person and have the results that I've been able to produce over the last 20 years. This is because you, you get people. I just want people to like me for me. That's a very personal and deep thing for many, many people. I want to be liked for me, whoever I am. I was just in this restaurant and I had on a Superman shirt. And the guy stops me. He said, you know, Goku and Superman got in the fight and Superman won. Strangest conversation. When you walk around with novelty shirts on, people talk to you all the time. They say the craziest things. And I, I, I was like, okay, I was still nice to do, even though I felt that was a very goofy exchange. Superman and Goku fighting. It shows you how much young men are caught up into animation, anime, and games. But the, tr the transformation, I'm not the same dude. There's no way I could be the same dude. I used to think so differently. I used to be one of those haters. I used to be one of those ho, 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 ho tips about the community. That my time in that boarding house woke me up. There's uh, the community has to want to improve. This is why I talk about the danger of certain black culture. Uh, the black culture that I grew up with was beautiful, it was amazing. This black culture today, it's very harmful. It's very carcinogenic. It's very cancer producing. I got kicked out the mall. It was an office building. Got some he liked go to and lose. It, it was a crazy conversation. But the, the, the personal change, I had to let certain things go. Uh, number one, I had to let the black thing go. Well, I'm black. No one's going to buy from me. I used to believe that silly stuff. And then I was in uh, Powertel, and I had many white Asian customers buy from me. And I was like, okay. So that was one of my internal narratives that was shattered by reality. And I chose to go with the reality. When I first started this YouTube channel, 95% of my customers were not black. This is one of the reasons I was so hated across the YouTube resale sphere, which I am a founding father of. You know, the folks who've been around a while, they know the deal. They knew that no one was talking about eBay. No one was talking about Craigslist. No one was talking about Amazon, not the way that I was. They understand. But, you know, the new Jacks, they care about that shine with no respect to the elders. This is another mistake that many millennials make. They don't give uh, props to folks who paved the way. But eBay, you know, I'll let stuff go. So that was the, one of the big tra first transformations. I had to let the black thing go. Then I had to let the scared little bitch go. I remember, and I was supposed to be selling 
insurance products. I was so scared to go knock on the door. Hey, how you doing? I spent the first 30 seconds just talking, to, oh, being nervous, being stupid. And this little lady, she was so patient, but she's like, baby, I don't need what you're selling. You have a good day. Click. It took me three hours to go knock on another door. I found every excuse not to knock on those doors. I found every excuse not to be successful because I was afraid. I was a scared little bitch. Scared. Didn't want, did just, mm, mm. Couldn't do it. Couldn't handle it. Josh Barr, if you were the salesman of the month, why didn't the power tail let you go? Politics. Another lesson learned. You do a good job, you'll be rewarded. Not true. If you do a good job in the framework that supports rewarding you, yes. But if the framework, because I came in through a temp agency in the these people were hired direct. So the direct people had a benefit over the temp agency people. And when they came out that they were only going to hire X amount of people, the kid did not make the cut, even though I was salesman of the month. And I remember a girl I work with, she's like, but you sold more phone. This is some BS. She was, she was legitimately angry. But she was, uh, she was on staff. She was, you know, direct hire. I said, like, you don't have nothing to worry about. You know, you do that, you'd be good to go. But if you come from the temp agency, you come from the temp agency, that's like they let you out. I came in the back door. I didn't come in the front door. Ganja, you a millennial? Yeah, I mean, I came through the back door. I was like the spook by the door, you know, and you could tell the direct uh, hire people had a different attitude. You know, the temp people. Uh, Kirkwood, do you have any experience in car sales? That's the first question. And part of knowing what to get into is going out here, killing a few dragons, and seeing what your sword would chop down. You got to get out here. All my mentors, the people who helped me, I met along the road out because I was out here. Runs. I had an experience like your power tail. That's why I was convinced that ownership was the only way to go. Yep. David Lee, I just watched that movie two nights ago. BT the career. career. My mentor got on my ass when I said white folk called the laws on me for walking in Walmart. Kirkwood, why are you trying to see that? This is where most people experience dissatisfaction and bad results. Trying to do something that they know nothing about because it looks good. First of all, get in the car business. Josh Barr, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. BT the greedy, he's older, 67 year old, came to us with when when married to a 33 year white woman. Kirkwood, once again, they offer paid training. Do you, this is something you want to do because I can tell you from personal experience, the car business is rough. We used to call it bell to bell. You'd be there from 9 a.m. in the morning to 9 p.m. at night. See, there's a little trick. I don't know if it still works today, but this is what Ron Valentine told me. He said, whenever you come in, clock in every day and clock out. And what they'll have to pay you is your minimum wage. Or if your commission, whichever is higher, that saved me so many t months. That saved me so many weeks because you work in nine to nine. So after 40, you enter into overtime. 
So even overtime and minimum wage back then was like 10 something a buck hour. So that added up. Izzy Tarvez is also about loving the prog. I like this prog so much. I was talking to anyone who listened to me. Before you know it, I had people call me wanting want more info to order. That's that enthusiasm when you like the product. Because I struggled selling Chryslers because I, I didn't like the product. I was just there because it was a job. But when I got to Charles Evans BMW, oh, dramatically different results because I like the BMW product much more than I like the Chrysler's product, which I didn't like at all. So, you know, for the for, for the person who's going to come up here and say, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to sell, man. I have no clue. I want to tell you, go out and do some research. That's incumbent upon you. That's on you to go out and do some research. That's on you to go out and find your way. Get as many ex experiences as possible as when you're young. Like, I remember working with Gene, the Iceman, that hustle he had. Learn, you know, it, it's just I was just sitting and learning, sitting and learning, taking new in each experience. And like the ice business, I made good money and I worked out. I lost weight. Brendan, what are your thoughts on a life coaching business? Tony Robbins. That's my thoughts. If you have the ability to work with people to create different outcomes, it's a great business. Von B, I have no clue. I keep telling y'all, I don't remember the name of it. I don't know it was red with a black cover. I can't remember it. And no, it wasn't dialing for dollars. And then part of this is you've got to get into sales. Because when you start looking for, you know, because I got this for y'all. Asking for the money. This is for someone who's never sold anything that wants to get a primer on how to sell. It's a hundred bucks and everyone that's taken it has loved this course. It will teach you how to sell from scratch. However, you got to come up with the right product. That's on you. Hear me and hear me now. Stop trying to sell things you don't like or care about. It shows up when you're dealing with the customer. There's no energy. There's no enthusiasm. Hey, I'm just trying to make a buck here. I don't care about this stuff. So once again, hear me and hear me well. Stop trying to sell things you do not care about. Just don't do it. So, and also learn how to ask for the money. That's what this course, uh, the link is below the video for those who are interested. So go ahead. And, you know, once you get this course, you need to be trying to sell something because it works better when you have something to apply this knowledge to versus just getting the knowledge. There's some a lot of people on the internet like to do just get the knowledge, scoop it up. Just pull it all in. And you, you got all this knowledge, but you don't have nothing to apply it to, which makes it pretty much worthless. You know, depending on how old you are, it is your duty as a young person to pull in all the knowledge you can. That's your duty. Read books, do experiences. The ages of 10 to about 18 are some of your most precious years, and most folks just goof off. Between the ages of 10 and 18, you can get so much done. 
This is, you know, where the proco precocious kids start acting. This is where that kid who starts selling candy in, in high school because they can add. They're like, well, if I go out and buy this candy for 10 bucks and I sell it all and I come away with 100 bucks, that's a $90 differential. And all the, you know, all the kids who, everybody, you know what's funny? Everybody knew this kid who sold candy and they rarely ever got any competition. It was always this one kid selling the now and laters or the baby roofs or the Snickers or the Chico sticks. I remember his name was Hootie and his locker was like a warehouse. He had boxes of candy in there. Me by a locker, he hook you up, take your dollar fifty, repeat that about 30, 40 times that day. Candy man was making some good money. So, you know, I'm gonna say this again for the people who just got here. Stop trying to sell things you don't like. That will go a long way in your sales career. Mike Travis, what were you trying to do, Mike Travis? You were trying to sell something you didn't care about, sell something you didn't like, sell something you had no passion for. That is the quickest way to salesperson burnout. There's a group that I'm a member of on Facebook, and all these car salesmen are trying to get out. They're like, I've been doing car sales for 10 years. I'm looking for something else, looking for similar income. What's good? See, one of the things that happens to you as a person is the older you become, unless you make an effort to reach out and learn new things, the harder it is to learn and master new skills. Oh, Mike, you were selling that candy in school, a natural born hustler. Because I see these guys, they're 40 something, they got a wife. 2.5 kids, a pool, a boat. They got bills. They can't, they can't put it on pause. No, 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 no. They got to be out there hustling. And this is something else too. Everybody needs to get their personal finances together. You got many people who are unable to start businesses because they have a lot of obligations. So for you to get out of that and learn how to manage your money better, go ahead and get the money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. This will teach you how to optimize your money. So when you start making more money, you actually can see it and feel it. You can actually watch the money stack up because now you have good money management skills. This link is also below the video. I think everybody needs to get this course before they try to start a business because look at these guys. They're working a job they hate. They're working a job that is literally sucking out their soul, but they can't quit. Why? They have no attitude money in the bank. They have no F you money. They just paycheck to paycheck. SVMCO. I was one of the first kids in my schools to have internet. Son, I start selling song lyrics. You can make money on with anything, depending upon what your audience is. Kids buy things that adults don't care nothing about. Herbert Scott, I graduated from candy to mix cassette tapes and Dragon Ball VHS. You upgraded your product line. There's so many ways that you can make money. You know, if you just joining us, go ahead and check out the earlier video today. Money's a game. You will enjoy it. We've got these candy. Ret to play, doing anything you don't like, it's a quick path to burnout. But many people, they see that money 
they go jump in head first and they get in. There are doctors out here who hate what they do. They only got into it because of the money and they stuck like Chuck. Where else, you know, there, there's a few paths if you got enough personality to be like a celebrity doc. There's this one um, doc, uh, Mad Dog, Ziggy, something. He, I don't even think he practiced medicines anymore. He's too busy making parody videos on Facebook. Understand, once you master the sales process, you will change your life. You will change your finances. Sales is one of the few things that you can get in and you can promote yourself. Brendan, have you taken the Meyer Briggs? Per I have not. I don't know if I'm IFJ. I have no clue to what I am. Candace P. Yes, I resigned from my job last year when the burnout hit me. How long did it take you to get the burnout, Candace? I mean, once again, if you don't have a deep interest, I have a deep interest in how people respond to certain things. I love being a social scientist. This is what kept me with, you know, the Craigslist protocols for so long. It's like, well, why did she answer this ad and this ad? That's odd. Well, let me put the mice through the maze. You know, it was just patently human behavior is fascinating to me. Ron, sales helped me secure investors for my next project. What I'm talking about, you need sales skills because if you like Ron and you want to get some investors, and for those of you who want to get in real estate, you got to sell yourself to these hard money lenders. This is how these people are getting 12 and 15 houses in one year, because the way that I understand it is the hard money lender looks at the house and they look at the deal more so than they look at you and your ability to repay because they're in the business. So if things go funky, they can always take that house as part of the, you know, default clause. And if the house works and you got a good plan and, there's plenty of people out there with money who would give it to you if you were willing to ask for the money. You're going to need that. Because the way that I see it, in 2019, there's no reason for anyone to be poor. Not with this internet. And there were many people who disagree with me, but Part of the problem is people are getting incorrect information. People are looking at free time as fun time. And they're not looking at it as time to elevate your game. They're not looking at it as time that they can use to become better at what they were doing. They don't look at it as time that they can personally develop themselves to the next level they just don't get that and you know it's also funny when i when i put up these videos sell baby sell what you need to why you need to develop sales skills regardless of your business model a lot of people don't check in they're like there go glennon talking about sales i just want to make some money man i don't want to sweat i don't want to work too hard you know i'm pretty ricky you can't stay pretty working hard I just need some easy solutions to these complex problems that I'm broke. I'm $150,000 in student loan debt, and um, my check is gone before I get it. First thing you need to do is solve that personal finance problem. You need to manage your money much better. That's what you need to do. And this is something that people don't want to wrap their heads around. Managing your money is so important for you to be free, for you to be able to move to the next level, for you to be able to have the life that you want. It is so important. 
this ability to manage your money. I mean, you know, I was sick two months ago. I mean, you know, day by day, I get a little bit better. Uh, probably at 65% energy level, still working on, you know, making that comeback. But because of stuff that I had put into play and money I had saved during the good times, I was able to weather this, this storm financially quite easily. Very easily. Because I had made provisions when times were good. And this is what people got to do. You got to stack wood before it gets cold. You know, when it's cold, you out there trying to chop down trees, that wood ain't cured. The wood hadn't dried out. It's going to burn all smoky. It's going to burn hot. Prepare. This is why you need sales skills. You need sales skills right now. You need to go ahead and get yourself toned up. Go ahead, get the asking for the money course. Go ahead, get the money management course. The boat, Glennon, before you, I didn't see the value in my sales job. Now I view it as a game to become a better entrepreneur. I'm up to 12 vending machines in my side business. I close my own deals. Many people look at certain things because they don't have enough information in the wrong way. You have a sales job that gives you commission. You can write your own check. You can make as much money as they will allow. As you, you know, because see, one of the things with us, when we work in business environments, we weren't capped. If we sold $5 million dollars, you know, let's see, that was the profit. Five million. We got 2.5 million. We had no caps. The enthusiasm, the enticement was quite high. Well, you know, we're doing this $250,000 deal with a $50,000 profit margin. The house gets 25K, you get 25K. You know, you do five, 10 deals like that a year, you had $350,000. All right, the boat. Candace P, one year and a half. My job started with certain tasks and added tasks that was not fond of and longer hours. I was planning to give it two years. However, my boss loved my work ethic, so he offered me one day a raise of pay. Now he calls me his work colleague. I took your advice and got a job while I built my business and my emergency funds. Yeah, I mean, you know, when I was going through this building up the first company, I went through three jobs, but they were prep jobs. I got jobs that prep me for the future. I still use things I learned on all those jobs to this very day. Josh Barr, thanks to the five bucks super chat. Would you recommend a hard money lender to scale a portfolio business or always better to take your time to fund your own and scale organically? Hard money lenders are only going to give you money on tangible stuff. So if you want to put together a business, it's going to be hard to get that money for your business. I mean, you know, if you're a good salesperson, you can, but it's going to be more challenging. So when I use the term hard money lender, that is in the realm of real estate. From what I understand, once you've done a deal or two, it's very easy to get because I was wondering, I was listening to bigger pockets and some other real estate podcasts. And how does a person get 20 houses in one year? That's not traditional financing. That's, you know, hard lenders, hard money lenders. No, I'm not in LA. Runs going through asking for the money in the offer section helped me avoid releasing a failed product because I tested the offer. I had to kill it, which opened the door for the current project. That's outstanding. That's outstanding. You have to use a, you have to euthanize some of these babies. That's that's outstanding, Ron's. And I, I love when people who've taken the courses comment on the success they have. I love these true organic testimonials. So I appreciate that. 
because you know there's this guy I watch and he talked about let's get this Wi-Fi money. He's an online person. I like him. Um <clears throat> everybody needs to be a producer. Everybody needs to be creating something. I mean, even your 58, 59 year old mama needs to be creating something because one of the reasons Mayfield tool and equipment. All right. All right. All right. One of the reasons that families can't make money together is that there is no one congruent mindset that goes through the family because the elders are like I'm old. So respect me. Even if I come out here with a whack ideal, and then the young bucks like, look, man, grandpa, that ain't going to work. Because the elder is like, well, we're going to do it this way. We're going to do it on Sunday because we've always done it on Sunday because we the Campbells. And that's what the Campbells do. It's very hard for families without a congruent mindset like immigrants. Immigrants come here. <laughs> chop, chop. Money, money. <laughs> chop, chop. Money, money. They got that same mindset, that collective mindset. So this is one of the issues that so many people cannot make money is they don't want to go through the rough years, the lean years. My rough years were when I had a job, panel systems, rent a crate and business environments. Those were the rough years because I still wasn't where I wanted to be, but I had to go through that. I was in the wilderness listening to the coyotes howl at the moon when I was in that boarding house. So I was only inside during those years of building. Butte Wing sales teaches you communication skills and a good mouthpiece opens up opportunities all day long. You know, the whole selling used products out of storage units opened up so many doors opened up so many meetings of folks I never would have met, which in ultimately end up for me producing a book, which opened up even more doors. You know, one of the things that is so possible is one action can lead to a very significant another action. One meeting, you can meet that one person who will become your financier, who will become your bank. So this is why you got to get out there. This is why you got to develop skills, sales skills as early as possible. I'm talking about, you know, selling candy. Because, you know, candy, you got to manage, you got you to do accounting, you got to keep up with inventory. You got to get those sales skills. You got to get them. They are critical. But before you get the sales skills, you need to get the money management. I'm going to give you the path. Go ahead and get the money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. That's going to teach you how to optimize your current money, get more out of your money, make your money last longer, and how to stack up your money, and then get asking for the money and get your hustle going. Go ahead. The links are below. Go ahead and do that for yourself because as we've had a few people comment on the live stream chat how these courses have helped them so be sure to do that seeing millennials like rap a little nah show how opening up to others can do his beats are from a other man from Amsterdam. oh i saw that i saw that Herbert Scott, my early sales job was appointment selling. Halfway through, I realized how much the list was worth and quit that job. Hey, you became educated. 
And this is something that happens to people who get into the unknown. Like one of the things I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to hire someone to help me with LinkedIn. I'm getting ready to hire someone to do Facebook ads. I'm getting ready to hopefully buy. Let's see, where is he? Because we were supposed to do this at six. Nope. Let me, is this deal supposed to go down today? All right. So he can get back to me because, you know, all these people, they're, they're willing to attain offers. But, you know, sealing the deal it ain't a deal until the, to the check, the money can change his hands. The guy on the internet, I hate that song. I actually like that song. I think it's a cool song. And uh, he's going fur very far with that. Okay, so you guys got your marching orders. You know what you need some scale sales skills. You know where to get them. And the money management course, you know where to get that. So I will see you guys later.